Welcome to the safety car guys, here we are, Texas Motor Speedway, I picked up, uh, I think it's one of the last restarts, not the last one, but warming a bit the tar and the yellow, uh, you don't want to too much not to pick up the marbles, you want to save fuel here, we got a second on the first gear, it's hard to find out which one is going to be the best for the restart, uh, we've set up our, our engine map, uh, travel on brake, try to look far ahead to see what's, when it's going to go green and get a good momentum. Starting accelerating, there we go. Got a really, really good restart here on Palu. Have to go a little bit on the grass. Um, sadly, I'm stuck on the low line. The high line would have been much better. But trying to go here early on throttle. Uh, picking up a, a good slipstream. But here, losing, losing quite a lot of. Uh, Losing a lot here uh, because I got stuck in between uh, two cars, back markers, and and um, trying the high line now because the low line didn't really work. A bit of uh, understeer here, too high. That was too high for me. Uh, we're gonna get uh, momentum here going. Top of three, never ideal, but uh, managing to uh, clear it and. Um, and get back into the racing line behind De Francesco, which is a lap down. So that's the hard part on ovals. You you end up being with the guys that are also a lap down, and uh, you, you're actually not really racing them. Um, good entry here. Bit exit. Bit tricky on exit. Wash out. And uh, back into the the fight here. Um, with Colton in front of me. You can see that it starts to get uh, a little bit busy with all the back markers and the guy on new tires. So, again, I like that a high line in turn one and two. That works really well for me. And you can carry more more speed when it's clear, uh, which is great. That's uh, Colton picking up a bit of, uh, of understeer behind me, so not really managing to get that run going. Here we go. That's a lot of traffic here, and you can see that the guy on the inside got a better momentum uh, mid to exit. That's, that's, that's really, that's really the challenging part on, on ovals, trying to find the run the best way you can, and uh, making sure that you are you're accelerating at the right time. Everyone's saving fuel here, so the pace is it's a little bit different than it should be. Um, pretty decent here against uh, Marcus, Indy 500 winner. Uh, also managing to pass Pato, so that's a pretty good, uh, pretty decent. Uh, but he's coming back. Uh, made a guess, I made a mistake on that run. Uh, with Colton being here, there we go. So you know, it's it's hard to know exactly where to go on the inside is. You really have to trust uh, your spotter. That's not ideal here. I've uh, got a bit again, got a bit mistimed on my on my run, so I can do a better job with that. Trying to go, uh, trying to go three wide. That's never never working. So managing to back out of this, uh, getting getting back into getting next to uh, Pato. Um, lifting here, which means Pato is going to come back at me. Uh, a little bit stuck in what we can do here and uh, I did prefer to be on the high line today um, so five outside you can hear you can see him coming Joseph trying to cut the run from uh, from Padua was a bit too uh, too conservative so Colton managed to get back into it uh, Joseph here uh, checking up saving fuel so it's very very hard to find out the, the right the right momentum here again picking up, picking up a bit of that uh, of that wash out Colton doing a really good move uh, managing to pass those guys and uh, it's a lot better when you're right there at the front um, so I've got to try to, to join him at the front uh, but got blocked here so you see your, your spotter is trying to give you a lot of advices. Um, 
one two exit being a little bit too on the theory for me at the minute so probably i will uh, I'll have, i would have had to to adjust my bars i don't know why i didn't do it probably something i can learn because there's definitely too much on the steer in the car huge run here huge huge run and everyone's saving fuel so again on the inside pato using the high line that's been working really well for him again i do i do wash out i do wash out here um, So yeah, trying to carry the momentum here. Uh, you see that the lap, whoa, that was close. Um, yeah, that was a little bit close for comfort. I don't know why, uh, why Rossi opened like this on exit, but anyway, it is what it is. So finally getting uh, getting turn one and two decent. Uh, but again, I'm having to lift a little bit on exit, so that was no ideal. Uh, there's so much going on, guys, on, on ovals. Uh, so much, so much that you need to think of and, and trying to time it and fighting your car and fighting the guys and, and everyone you know trying to save fuel so here you go got a fuel code so that means everyone is saving fuel here so no one really wants to be in the lead but uh, but you don't want to be too far off the lead because then it's it's a lot harder than than, than just being at the front uh, you get all the dirt here so here again lift too too much lift on entry so i need to work on that um, So that's got my Clothin coming in the game. Uh, I don't really want to lose. I don't really want to lose any more position here. Uh, but definitely, turn one, two, well, turn two exit is a lot, a lot of understeer, and I need to understand what's going in here. Um, I'm good in three, four, really good in three, four. Struggling a little bit more in one, two. Really good run here on Colton. Um, Joseph closing a little bit the, the gap here so that you can see that the guys that have a lot of, um, of experience in ovals they uh, they do want well, what where to position the car uh, to kind of get you from the run trying to high line here uh, doesn't work so go back to the low line so here you know a bit of clear a bit of clear on the lower on the lower end which uh, which helps me a lot to get the corner exit going better. That's been a problem the last few laps. All right, yellow, yellow, yellow. Uh, we're gonna have a long phase of safety car. Uh, so we're gonna be saving fuel uh, as, as soon as we can. I'll get you back on the next uh, restart, guys. Uh, um, we are ready for the next restart. Uh, I like I like to be in that position. I like to be P2 here. Uh, you're gonna, you know you're going to get a really good momentum. You know you're going to get a good slipstream. You know you can choose the lane that you want to choose. So I'm trying to uh, figure out when, uh, when, pa uh, when Palu is going to accelerate in front of me. Slightly going on throttle. Starting. There we go. He's going. So going to use that uh, nice slipstream that we're going to get. He's, he's using the inside line. Um, I'm going to use the outside line, which I, I really like at that point of the race. I think the tires are still in a very good shape. Here we go. Listen to the engine. How the engine picks up the the pace when you are when you into the slipstream. Outside foot throttle here, right there, absolutely flat out. Changing the, the engine map. Really super close. Absolutely flat out through one and two. Uh, squeezing a little bit too much speed. I should have downshifted it here. Here we go on the inside. Downshift, try to get the best engine RPM we can. But look, no, he's getting the slipstream that uh, that I was having earlier. And, uh, and look at Pato coming. Pato super, super fast here. Again, full throttle into turn one and two. Absolutely full throttle. But you're digging a hole in the air for the others, and, uh, and Pato is just coming in uh, with a huge run on us. So here I'm losing the run. Uh, again, I was a bit too conservative on entry of turn 3 4. Washing out a little bit. Joseph doing a really good move on me here. And we're losing a little bit of, of pace there. Colton coming in a hot, so 
Always nice to find your teammates at that speed. It's pretty cool. And um, that's another yellow. That's where we're going to be uh, deciding to. Uh, I think I was ahead of the 26 on the yellow. That's where we're going to be deciding to pit for new tires. Uh, long yellow. All right, we're ready to. Ready to go again. Got new tires. Uh, again, it's not easy to choose the gear that you want to do the restart in. Uh, a little bit in between, right here. Pink one, so that's um, ready to go. First gear engaged. Trying to get uh, gently going on front. That's a good restart again. Really good momentum. Um, suddenly got, got blocked here on the outside. Uh, and. Uh, yeah, yeah, I enter too, too high, so I'm losing the grip. You can see I'm going over steering, so the 9 is, is getting the run on me. I uh, made a mistake here trying to enter too high. But now I'm going to try to get uh, a really good run on those new tires. Picking up a bit of understeer here, but look at that run coming in. 6 gear flat out, it's 234 miles an hour. Everyone's struggling a little bit with the washout here. Uh, but with Scott Dixon, we're on the new tires, so that helps a lot. Uh, here, stuck on the inside. No ideal. Cut uh, again. Need to time a run slightly better here. Back in line. I have to find the right solution for me to, to pass to those cars. Trying again here inside. Uh, there's a bit of washout on the exit. Again, really, really good run and exit. Bit better job here. Car was a bit loose on entry. Um, those guys fighting in front of me, quite, uh, quite tough. Six gear here. Early lift. Trying to go very early on throttle. You can see I picked up the throttle lift for the corner. Here we go. Number three, a bit of a washout, and I'm getting a, a beautiful run. No, behind Colton. Uh, he's on old tires. I'm on new tires. So it's going to be a lot easier for me to pass him. He doesn't make my life too hard here, which is uh, which is very nice of him. Super close, uh, but working well for us. And then back in line. Those guys started weave at the front, so trying to use a good good run. Changing the rear and tool bar on the left. Very, very good entry here. Uh, not washing out too much, trying to find the right position with the throttle. You could hear I was, uh, was trying a few, few things. Uh, gonna try the high line here that I really liked. It's working well. Have to lift off a bit here. Back on the inside, uh, traffic jam. <laughs> Uh, 9 a.m. morning traffic jam on the inside of the 9 is squeezing me a bit, but I've managed to uh, to make it work. Good run here with the guys in front. Taking a bit of wash out here. Tight close, it's close goal. Um, outside, so staying on the inside here. Trying to get the fresh air. But again, struggling a little bit with the car. Doesn't want, really want to turn into that uh, turn one, two. There you go, picking up a nice run here. Six gears. Early lift. A bit on the high line, that seems to be working better. Uh, and then having a huge run here on the Lucas. He is. He's got a little bit more speed in these cars. He's slightly coming back to me now. He's got a big run, but we're side by side, so it doesn't really have more. It doesn't have any room for, to come to, to us. Lifting early, uh, being nice in the apex, and here 
starting to pick up a bit on the steer. Uh, Malukas coming down, front wing touches his rear wheel and uh, that's it. And uh, that's a 56G impact. Um, no ideal, but uh, yeah, for next time we do better.